Originally, I was going to put up the very first um, things that they don't tell you about being a flight attendant video, but due to the audio, I'm going to actually have to refilm that. So I'm, I'm going to pause and do that one later on. So I'll be doing a what's in my toiletry, what's in my tote bag, and what is in my rollerboard. So without further ado, here we go. Hey guys, um, this feels so like weird, like the setup, me sitting by my bag like this, like, hey, how you doing? How you been? <laughs> but um, I'm going to do a what's in my rollerboard bag. Um, so for anyone who's kind of wondering like, what do flight attendants pack or tend to have with them in their bags? This is what I have in mind. Um, it feels, I don't know why, but it feels kind of like very personal, like even though, I share quite a bit. I don't know why showing you guys what's in this bag feels like I'm really like giving away my secret or something. Even though the stuff in the bag is not even that big of a deal. But um, yeah, so I have the, I actually looked this up because I didn't know. I just bought this one because <laughs> everybody has this one. Um, I bought a Travel Pro Flight Crew 5 22 inch roller board so this is like a standard size that fits in pretty much all of the overhead bins that we have um now in some of them i do have to turn it sideways but i'm crew no big deal um i don't know this is kind of weird like explaining this i bought this bag when i was based in mini at the crew outfitter stores um i've heard that you can buy some travel pros at tj maxx or online and it can be cheaper i just bought it at the store because that's where everybody else was buying theirs quite a few flight attendants do have these these are different from the pilot bags the pilot bags are a lot heavier but travel pro is like a brand that we pretty much like use quite often so i got it too um i have i guess i'll just pick up the camera jay guys uh i have my bag tags on here i have to let them know atl crew whenever i was mini base i did have a msp crew and then i have this um this lady in the lounge was actually selling these and this one says crew too atl crew too how cute is that um and then this million miler tag so these are the tags that i have on my back um this is my bag real cute uh, in this little zipper section, I used to keep my passport in here, but now I just have an extra tag, and I never really put anything in there, um, just because I don't really need to. And then in this section, my next little zipper section, what do I have in here? I have mail, any mail that I've been going through that I need to check on i'll put that in here or okay so um it has these two zipper sec sections 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 this top little mini one and then this this medium one and then also i don't know if you can tell but there's like this middle is this it oh yeah it's like this middle zipper section right here and i keep my laptop in here and um i need to return these these are these spanks that i bought in the wrong color <laughs> but yeah I, I only keep my laptop in there usually um on the side of it, I have this little tag that's in here that has my name, my phone number, uh, where I'm based, my employee number, just in case anything was to happen, they could contact me, because that actually has happened before. Um, I have this little, like, grip thing on mine. It is pink. I just turned it around to be black. I don't know, just because. Just and um, this back zipper section, which... Mine has broken. This happens a lot on crew bags. It's not really anything that you can do about it, though. Like, I asked if it was possible for me to get it repaired, and they said it can. But just because of how we put our bins, I mean, our um, bags in the in the bin so much, it, it's, it's just inevitable that that happens. Um, I actually broke this wheel off and had to have it replaced, and they fixed it for me for free. Um, so that's just like a warranty thing that comes with the particular bag that I bought. Um, and this is the bottom of my bag. This was the sticker that I bought in the crew store, and it said nobody passes. But, the you know, it's like been peeling and everything from dragging it around. So that's the outside of my crew bag. It just feels so weird recording this, like... No. Okay, so as far as what is inside of my roller board, let's try to face it this way where you guys can see what's inside. Okay, so this is the inside of my roller board. Not very exciting, but this is how I pack 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, just because I found a little method that I enjoy. 
Okay, so I'll just like talk through this part a little bit. Um, so I pack my crew bag or I pack my bag this particular time with the absolute minimum that I will ever pack for a trip. So what I have inside my bag today is usually how I pack because I try to pack the bare minimum just because I don't want my bag to be heavy because I have to lift it into the overhead bin every single time we switch aircrafts. So um, what I have inside my bag today is how I pack pretty much all the time. Now that I've kind of uh, gotten my method and figured out what I need what I don't need this is what I'll have in my bag and also I do want to discuss this as well um a lot of flight crews will have locks on their bags I do not have locks on my bags um I have no intentions of ever getting locks on my bag um I usually when it, whatever jump seat that I'm sitting at I will put my bag close to me so that you know I can monitor it or you know get things in and out of it and my tote bag is a lot more exposed than my rollerboard is I'm actually going to do a separate video on what all is in there but when I put my roller my rollerboard in the overhead bin I feel secure I feel like it's fine no one's going to take it the only time anything's ever happened and this it was once and it was an accident um there was a passenger who got my my bag out of the the bin and started rolling it off but then saw the tag on it and realized oh wait this isn't mine because you know it's a black bag a lot of them look the same um but I saw him you know open it and get it down I just couldn't get to him to tell him oh no that one's not yours but it wasn't like he was trying to take it or anything so I don't I don't have a lock on this bag honestly my laptop is in this bag but there's not really anything that's like if someone stole it I would be worried about or you know upset about so if you want to take my rollerboard you could <laughs> but um no just because of you know how I fly and the way it works and everything I don't ever really worry about anyone taking anything out of my bag so I don't have any locks on any of my bags and I don't have any intention of ever getting um I have heard stories you know of people uh passengers like going through flight crews bags and everything I've never seen this happen I don't know anyone that it's happened to so until that something weird like that happens um I won't have locks on my bag but anyway yeah I'll show you guys what's in it I don't know this just feels so like hello um I don't even know do I need to be in the frame or do you guys just want to is this okay is this weird this feels weird okay so it wasn't I don't know if I need to be in the frame or if I should just hold the camera on the bag or what this feels really awkward but um, in this top zipper section right here, oops, uh, this top zipper section right here, I literally just use this, well I won't show the inside of it, to put dirty clothes. Like anything that I have that's dirty just because it's separate from it and then it's like if it smells or you know dirty socks or something then it won't stink up anything in my bag. So I just use this and I'll put, I don't have any in here today but I'll put like a little like those, um, oh, what is it called? those like dryer sheets I'll put that in there and then also I usually keep um, just a bag you know the little bags that they have in the hotels that you can put your dirty laundry in I'll put these in there too just in case I want to stick them in the bag and make them easy to do laundry or something so all, that's all I ever keep in this zipper section right here um, and this this second one right here oh why am I trying to bed in this zipper section right here I just have socks um underwear and then my uh scarf that i sleep in every night so that's all that's ever in here nothing else it's just like this mesh material i'll do close-ups and everything um but yeah i have socks underwear and then my scarves right there um okay so at any given point this is exactly the layout of my bag I always put this in this top right corner I always just have it organized like this because I know exactly where everything is and I just prefer it that way so this is my toiletry bag um, I'll be showing what's in there later and then I always 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 keep a pair of flip-flops with me these I haven't actually showed these are my Rihanna flip-flops so that's super exciting um, I have those and then this top zipper section right here, I keep jewelry. So, um, yeah, so I don't even know if this is interesting, but I bought these earrings from H&M and I just recently got my ears pierced. So, um, I put these in this top little section and then I have a choker in here um, that I got in London. Uh, so yeah, that's all that's in this top section. Just because I feel like 
it, it's stuff this stuff is easy to get lost and it's just nice to have it you know be able to go to the same place and get it out um i always 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 have a hat if anyone knows what this hat means shout out to you i keep a hat with me at all times usually i have my black polo hat with me but i just didn't this time i feel awkward i feel like i should be um looking at you guys and talking through this but then i have to show you what's in the bag so <laughs> it feels weird okay so this is not something i would normally have in my bag um but just because i've had all this like dental stuff and everything done i have this wash that i have to i have this leave-in conditioner that I use in my hair. just It's just like a spray-in. I love Palmer's. I always use their stuff. Um, and then my Clinique um, moisturizer and clarifying lotion that I use. Um, and I just have this uh, put to the side right now. I used to keep those um, the clarifying lotion and the moisturizer in my toiletry bag but just because it's not travel size it's larger I just find it easier to put it alongside my bag and I'm still like tweaking my skincare routine and everything so that's just where I happen to keep it and as far as outfits um, I have an extra shirt that uh, is my extra uniform shirt and I always like just leave like right now my uniforms over there hanging up in the closet but I don't have my uniform in here because obviously I'm gonna put it on for work tomorrow but I have a t-shirt to sleep in which I have this lovely t-shirt right here you already know I have to travel with my girl um, yeah so that's the shirt that I'm currently sleeping in and then I have these pants are so comfortable um, these pants that I got <laughs> nothing interesting just gray uh, gray pants from H&M then I have these sweatpants I I never go anywhere without these things like I live in my Adidas sweatpants I commute in these and I deadhead in these and then I have a pair of shorts um, which I actually really love the color of these shorts I got these at Zara in vegas in the back look how cute it says you look pretty you are happy you look pretty when you are happy so the only thing that is missing from this um suitcase that i would normally have with me is a white t-shirt um just because i knew that on these layovers they weren't long enough for me to do anything with my crew or us to go anywhere i didn't pack a t-shirt to wear with the shorts or with the sweatpants um so tomorrow, actually we did head tomorrow, so I'll, probably, I'll wear my formation t-shirt with my Adidas sweatpants. And just since the room has a robe, you know, I don't have to worry about sleeping in clothes, I'll just sleep in this. But with as far as like, because I feel like someone's going to ask the question, what can you wear when you deadhead? Um, that just depends on your airline, so you have to check with them, because sometimes you have to be in uniform, sometimes you can be in plain clothes, it just depends. But that's everything that's in my rollerboard. Um, one outfit to potentially go do things in, some sliders or flip-flops, um, something to sleep in, a cap, underwear, a scarf, and my toiletry bag so yeah i don't know how interesting this was um it kind of felt i don't know why it felt weird like filming it like even though it's not anything in my bag that was like weird it's all normal stuff it just feels like strange every now and then if i have like a layover that i am going to do something or like a good miami layover um uh, i would have like a swimsuit in the bag or i would have like a cute little dress or something if i knew it was going to be a long lay layover and i potentially could do something with the crew but th that's the minimum the minimum that i will pack and my laptop so yeah i hope that answers you know you guys questions about what's on my roller board i feel like my tote bag video will be better it'll be more interesting because i keep a lot more in that one and i use that one quite often this one is just kind of like the big things that i don't have to reach for that often so yeah i will see you guys in my next one